Hi everybody, Russ and my hammers eleven. Hope you're all safe and well. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon so you're made aware anytime I put new content on. As always, we'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Untuck It. Check them out in the description below. Today's guest, oh, we've been trying for a while now. We've been trying for a while, but we finally got <laughs> each, managed to get each other sorted. It's Neil Taylor from Long Live the Bowling. How are we, Neil? Yeah, I'm good. Fine, fine. Thanks. Yeah, no, not too bad. Not too bad. Not just too bad. Bit, um, yeah, just. Still on a, a a bit of an enforced lockdown here with my mother, but uh, no, nah, so I look forward to Tuesday mornings at half seven because the only people I see are the dustmen. So that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Someone said to me the other day, she was like, "Oh, you know, you can't tell what day it is." And I said, "Well, I know when it's Wednesday because I have to put the bins out." But apart from that's, that, that's exactly that's that seems to be the, the, the highlight of the week now. But um, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, you never know. It's no good asking me mum because uh, she's called me Eric for the last six months, and oh, I don't know who Eric is, but. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's that's the joys of, uh, uh, of living with someone like that. But no, no, it's, it's fine. She's okay, so that's uh, yeah. it's all good. It's all good. Good, good, good. You've been busy today. What have you been up to today, mate? I've just been sorting out a few things with the uh, with, with the Amherst page and along with the bowling. I, 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 you know, I will. Uh, as people, as people know, I, I, when I'm round here, uh, if there ain't a lot else to do, believe it or not. But, yeah. You know, so uh, I, I try and keep myself busy on them pages. So I'm always on there trying to refresh it up. Yeah. And there's a few other things that say with the Amazon work page and the uh, food bank thing. So it's good. It's good for me because it keeps my my uh, grey matter working. So yeah. and, I, and I still do some trade union stuff. So oh, yeah, okay. no, so that's fine, mate. Yeah, that's good. And as you said, the um, yeah, the hammers to work thing. That's that really took off, ain't it? Really, um, that, that's brilliant. That was a. Uh, there used to be one a while back, but it was a Hammers trade page. So it, obviously, if a, if, a, if a West Ham guy was looking for a spark, or a West Ham lady looking for a spark, uh, yeah. there used to be a page there, and we've just put up any sparks. And then um, Pancakes, Danny, Pam Racker, uh, got in touch with me and said about setting up a new one. And, uh, you know, I mean, Danny's a, a sort of busy man. He's like, right, I'm here. So I just basically uh, took up, you know, it's Danny's page, joint, joint venture. And... Um, so I'll just, you know, keep it ticking over. We've got two young girls on there, Alexander and Lindsay, and they basically uh, do all the uh, other stuff. But the page itself, yeah, it's the only one that I'm aware of uh, in, in the country, a, a football team that mm. obviously tries to get work for Amers, you know. Yeah. Um, and we've had some success on there. You know, it costs nothing. Mm. Uh, there's no charge, no nothing at all. Uh, and we let Amers put their own business on there. There's a guy there who's got his own pie mash venture. Yep, stick it on and listen. Uh, if he sells one lot of pie mash off the back of it, that's good enough. And it's like a job, you know, we've had some youngsters on there, a couple of messages come through, never compromise anyone, you know, they inbox me and I'll keep it lift. Unless yeah. they don't mind, then I'll, I'll put it on there that um, they've got some work. And it, it's tough old times at the moment, you know. Um, I know that with a few people, I know have got pubs and a few people in hospitality, mm. and it is tough. It, 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 it is really tough. And um, so I'm well chuffed with that. And um, and, it, and it's ticking along, you know. It is what it is. Not I appreciate if you get three thousand members, that don't mean there's three thousand hammers all looking for work. But it's something on there, you know. And um, no, no, I've got, I'm, I'm well chuffed with it. And it, it's get, going in a bit of ground. I've tried to punt it around on Twitter a bit just to get it yeah. uh, noticed. And uh, no, it, it, it it's good. And I'm quite pleased, you know, that a few people. Uh, they, they find things out as well, you know, about trade cards and what they need to get onto a site and other people help them. So it's a big muck in from all West Ham, which, to be honest with you, let's face it, I mean, um, in, in 50 odd, 55 years, uh, there's no other club like us. Um, nah. We just help people out. Uh, we help Amazon out, and that's the end of it. You know, yeah. no, so we're well chuffed with that, Russ. Yeah, definitely. No, uh, definitely. Can I just say, off of the back of that, um, that uh, today I spoke to Danny earlier. We done a, a collection on the page. Um, it was for the pay per view stuff, and yeah. um, so I think in the next day or so, Danny's going to um, donate uh, the money that we got, and it's a, it, it ain't a bad old sum. And he's going to donate uh, some of that money to the homeless veterans um, and the food banks. So uh, I'm quite chuffed with that, really. Yeah, and I'll, yeah. I'll put a post up, let you know. And thanks to all the members who who, who, who chucked in. So it's, it's yeah. good. Yeah, it's, it is. It's one of those things where West Ham fans are just a unique bunch of people, aren't they? Really, it's like they always help their own. I mean, you know, you said the food bank stuff, and obviously you're doing the advent calendars and stuff with Sadie. Um, yeah. I mean, that's that's 
I mean, I, I know for myself, you know, I did, obviously we did the food banks back in, uh, we did it in September. We did you know, a big push for them. And we wait, it made like 20, 20 or grand, you know, and, and that, I, I've got, yeah, I've, yeah, I've got that's, that's excellent. You know, oh, oh, that, that came about with me. That's just got to get involved. I mean, John's, uh, John's running the iron supporting yeah. food banks. Yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. And, just about five seconds about John, the top bloke in my opinion, lives the other yeah. side of Stoke, and yeah, then decides to drive motors out to drive all the way down here to deliver dog food, deliver I anything know. that people knew and want. I mean, mental, some, people, some people won't, wouldn't even go to the Upton Park, and they lived at East End Town Hall. He drives the other side of Stoke to bring I food know. down So I've got to hold my hands up to him. And I thought to myself, I lived in Newham for 30 years, raised yeah. up in Newham, drank in Newham. Obviously, my team comes from Newham, and I lived five minutes from the ground, and I thought, I, I want to do something to people in Newham, as well as South yeah. End. We've got a little hub in South End. It's nothing to do with Amers. It's just where I used to work or do the trade union yeah. business. People there stuck the gear in, sure. and I'll get it collected because I live down this way. Well, not here at the moment. I'm around my mum's. But I, I, but 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 the really, um, food bank was that. And then Woody uh, from the Vic, uh, kindly, him and Trudy, uh, I asked them, and uh, they because a lot of people congregate in there, match days, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, even out throughout the lockdown when it was a, when we went down to the tier system, the pub was still sort of open under restrictions. Yeah. And the support down there has been fantastic. You know, we've had people like mm -hmm. uh, Amherst Company in Portsmouth for one of the games, Igzy, and they brought 40 calendars down, and they brought calendars, loads of uh, sanitary stuff. Uh, like they filled it up. And then what happened then is, I'll get in touch with John. I'll then get in touch with Woody. The van comes down, picks the gear up, takes it back to Beckton. And that's been ongoing. And Woody's got yeah. another one this uh, this Saturday, 11 o'clock. Don't want him to keep opening the pub every 10 minutes. So we set a time on it. Sure. And some of the people that do uh, donated the gear there, I won't mention them here uh, until I ask them because I don't just stick their names up, but I will mm. get round to it. Um, you know, unbelievable, really. I've known it for years, and they've been 50-year hammers and that, and they, they've gone down there with loads of gear. And then, obviously, it came up to this uh, with, with, it, with the Advent stuff. And yeah. um, there's a campaign to get it r rolled out. And that's where uh, Sadie came about. It's my uh, my friend's uh, Bill, uh, my friend Bill, good friend Bill, uh, his niece. And uh, she's a talented youngster, lives in Stratford, only young. Her career's been sort of cut short due to COVID. But rather than moke around, she wanted to get involved in something. I said, well, hang on a minute. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a children's campaign in Newham where you live with mm. a food bank. Well, it'll be coming up to 500 calendars with uh, sort of Mental. them, uh, and plus yeah. all the food. Plus, she's got cash and she's took it down there. And fair play to her. So anyone can donate. I've got another 40 um, sitting in, in Lee, and I'm, I'm going to pick, I'm going to go and buy some more. But yeah, it's just my kids. Christmas sack when it will open up. Totally. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so that, that so that, that in court, we run that from the uh, Amazon work page, or, or a spin off up there. Mm. I'm, I'm definitely not. I mean, I know Emma's people are, are, are generous. I know that uh, through Isla. Yeah. You know, I've been uh, with, with, on the Isla thing for three years, and I know I know the generosity, and that's still going on uh, thanks to yeah. people that's still doing that. So I know times are hard. You know, for all for everyone, and uh, so don't I don't try and ram it down anyone's throat to give the money or, or anything. You know, but anything like any auctions, anything like I'll always run them on the pace. It's not not an issue. Uh, you know, mm. we help each other out, as I said. But no, that's about um, that's about it with them, really. Right. You know, but yeah. it, it, it keeps it busy because you know I, I just spoke to John, and uh, yeah, it, it does it does keep things ticking over, and the circle's yeah. getting bigger, and more and more people it's, know about you know. So yeah. that's uh, it's great. Isn't it? I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, obviously, I'm I'm quite in, involved with John as well with the yeah, I know that. Yeah. And so yeah. um, yeah, no, it's from where they from where they were to where they are now. You know, and, and not just that, not just like from a charity perspective, but from a, a, visibil a little bit like visibility perspective. So, cool. you know, like the, the club are getting involved in their, their sort of, you know, stuff as well. And yeah, yeah. that's brilliant. That's brilliant. And so, yeah, long it may continue. And obviously we're doing so like all the content guys, we're doing like a big thing for the, the recorder toy appeal as well so yeah i, 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 yeah, I, I know jenkins uh, one of the blokes jenkins yeah, I've jenkins, yeah. well so not, not as a friend but i know he is yeah i know he, yeah. he starts all that that's a good thing so that we're is, working yeah. with them next, so we're doing that yeah. soon as well so yeah you said it's a, it always flabbergast i'm flabbergasted by the generosity of, of west ham fans and yeah i mean you said not many live in newham at all uh you know like you know there's a lot of them are moved out into the sticks and further yeah, field yeah. But they still, you know, we. I mean, well, your, we, roots, your roots are still there. You know, yeah. you, you drank there. Your, your, your club was there, and it is. Mm. It is a community. 
And although it's tribal, football is tribal, uh, once it comes to your own club, I've noticed it with Everton and uh, yep. Dave Kelly up at Everton. He's just been got some pride of Britain award for his yeah, work with the Free yeah, Banks yeah. and whatever. And, and them and uh, Evertonians and, and Liverpool fans got together to form their food bank up there, you know. So yep. it's, it, it is good people uh, doing good things. And and and, and Sullivan and uh, the board have also chucked uh, some and donated to the food bank as well. So yep. it's, it's, a big, it's a big old effort. So, uh, no, that, that's good. And so, you know, fair play to everyone, really. Exactly. Fair play. And you're right. I think yes, it's important, particularly, as you said, times are hard for everyone at the moment. But, you know, it's hard, it's hard to think there's people worse off for you, but there are. And so, oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, anything we can do. I mean, I as I said, we even put like I've got a little a uh, little a little uh, board outside my on my uh, Christmas decoration. Oh, I'll see that. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> and that, and fact, that, that, that the all... contact list. Uh, thing, yeah, that's it? the old yeah, QR code. Brilliant. Yeah, and that's really fun, you know. And yeah. to be fair, like you know, I literally just went on Twitter and said, "Can someone make it up for me?" And someone yeah. did it and got all printed. Didn't want to charge a penny. Um, Euro walls. So well, they did that, and um, fair play to them. And yeah, I think even if we make, he said, I mean, we probably have about 50, 60 quid, something like that. But still, it's fifty, sixty is good. Listen, uh, I've, 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 up, I've always said it, and uh, you know, Nicholas said the same, and other people said the same. Look, look, uh, whether it's a pound or uh, what, whatever it is, someone's give that out there, art, and, that, and yeah, it, it's too. more money to to, to to the calls, really. You know, so yeah, no, I'll never, I'll never put things on there. You know, when you see some of these, oh yeah, the minimum donations for the minimum donations, what anyone is can afford. You know, you don't, yeah. you don't, you don't, you, don't, you know, you don't uh, look down at someone for that. So no, no, it's, it's brilliant. And uh, as I say, you know, um, I, I've said it before as well. You get a few clubs that are like that. Millwall, uh, are one of them. You know, they, yeah. they, they, there's a community there, and and, and like West Ham, you know, they, they just you, you help people in the community or people that are in need. And so no, yeah. it's brilliant. It's brilliant. No, it's all good stuff. It's all good. Stuff. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, me yeah. too. I'm really, really, it's just, it's just lovely. Um, as you said, it's just the West Ham spirit, community spirit yeah, coming through. And that's yeah. what we have. And that's what we need more than ever at the moment. Um, but who knows? You know, it might get, might get like a couple of thousand back in a couple of weeks' time. You never know. Back at, back at the stadium zone. So we'll well, yeah. I mean, I, I did, I, <laughs> people say more concerned about how the 4,000 or whatever, according to the tier structure, how, how, how they're going to go about the 4,000 already. Yeah. You know, you go on to social media and it's, oh, well, that's going to be all the bond holders. Um, no, but yeah, yeah. look, look if, if it's done if it's done fairly then uh, some people say well it might make a lot of difference but it's it's a start you know 4,000 is a start but to me uh, the, the bigger picture is uh, the club's doing uh, or the team's doing well at the moment but the yep. bigger thing for me is is that by letting fans back in uh, per se or whatever um, that that rolls down to the bottom where some of the smaller clubs that need revenue yeah. Uh, to get fans on board. I, I said to a guy yesterday, who, who I put a post on Longley the Bowling about this, and he said, well, you know, um, it ain't worth it. Time you get 4,000 the money it's going to cost. But it ain't going to cost West Ham anything because we don't pay for stewarding. We don't pay for anyone does any catering over there. So you let no. 4,000 people in, they're not, they're not, they're not going to worry about that, that side of it. No. But the smaller clubs, I went to an FA Cup game. Uh, All Church versus uh, uh, Pitsy and Bowers over Bowers Gifford. And there, there was a, Good few hundred in there. It was a blinding yeah. night. And when you start letting fans back in at the smaller clubs and it gives them a bit of revenue, that is the plus for me. You yeah, know, that, that, that's, that's where football starts from. You, you can chuck millions and millions at the top clubs, but, you know, if all these smaller clubs get out of business, where are you going to get the players coming? You know, where, 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 where's it, where are they going to come from? So, no, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm all for it. And to be honest with you, I think we're doing all right with no fans in the crowd. <laughs> I, know, I know. That's, that's <laughs> the thing. That's the thing, isn't it? Because, like, we're, we're, <laughs> but uh, no, no, I, you know, I don't know. How, I don't know how they're going to do it. I'm not. No. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even going to some. You know, speculate how they're going to. No. How they're going to do it. Um, you know, I'm, I, I can't get drawn into that until it's until no. they come out yeah. and say, "Right, that's until how we've done it." it. And also say until we find out what tier Newham's in as well. As well exactly. It, if it's in tier three, we ain't got to worry because. <laughs> Absolutely. So, absolutely, it's nothing to do with away fans because the away fans are not nah. invited anyway. So, nah. it is you're traveling into an area where there's an eye contagious rate. N- believe it or not, Newham is not one of the highest, it's in fact one of the lowest, or, or was one of the lowest. Mm. Uh, neighboring boroughs had a higher, um, higher rate, but uh, no, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, against the I think it's Man United going the three o'clock game that they're yeah. looking at. So, hopefully, yeah. Uh, yeah, get a few in there, it'd be good. 
it'd be good. It'd be for nice. Him. It'd be nice. I need. We need some in there. I've. So I've been. I mean, it's. I've figured out. I think it's thirteen games. I think, including the Bet Wake Up that we've had behind closed doors at London Stadium, and it's been weird. I haven't liked it. It's very quiet. Um, and so, as soon as we get fans back in, the better. Because even if it's like, even if I take even a few hundred, just so there's a little bit of something. You know what I mean? Something there. No, no, I, I, I get that. The last time I was ever locked out was uh, nearly 40 years ago when uh, we had the ghost match and I was in the bowling yeah. pub. <laughs> Grant in there, there was a, we didn't have anything. There was no internet. You know, no. We had uh, Bobby Gerrard on, on a transistor radio in the pub listening to it <laughs> and, we were, and we could hear him shouting out on the touchline from just past the bowling pub and that was surreal. Crazy. So now you can hear the, I have it with the sound off. Uh, so yeah. I, like the, I like to hear the players scream out when they get a whack, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, no, the, uh, yeah, so it is, it is very surreal. I've mean, not got used to it in a way that I've, I've, no way do I want it to carry on. No, 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 no. At first, I thought it was going to be really difficult. But to me, it isn't so much now. You know? and, and, yeah. and another thing is, Russ, to be fair with you, when there's no fans in the ground putting pressure on any players, they're allowed to express themselves. Yes, yeah, true. They're not. In, they're not. They're not going to be in, or, or, or worried about making a move that the crowd will be on their back. Mm. Oh, you know, and, and, then, and then you get thirty thousand people doing that, and I don't care who you are. Your confidence takes a whack. Definitely. Now, when there's no one in there, it's not a training ground because some of the games have been fantastic. But mm. at the end of the day, you, you, you express yourself more. Hence, some of the results we've seen and some of the turnovers that have come about. You know, so. Um, and and Moyes must have. Uh, I bet. I bet Moyes don't, is. I bet he was quite upset when he found out the fans were coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you're right. It's like it's it's like you know we can like team like let it's not per se, like lesser teams like you know say West Ham for example. We could go yep. to Man City and and we went to Liverpool and had a go. We went to Arsenal and had a go. We had Spurs. We can go to these other teams when there's no fans and having a go. And that's quite good. The fact that we've played a lot of them already. Absolutely. We, really. So. You know, everyone, everyone moaned about that beginning start, but actually we've done all right at that start. And yeah, I mean, the, the, I, I like now. the Newcastle game off because yeah, to me, me that too. was a nothing game. Arsenal, yeah, yeah, we yeah. should have beat them, in my opinion. Yep. Um, and I, and I'm, I'm not a totally fast West Ham. I've seen so many ups and downs there. That I don't, <laughs> I can't, I'm, I'm beyond that. But, um, yeah, we should have beat Arsenal. And, uh, you know, we've done that against Liverpool, really, to be honest yep. with you. And other than games, when you look at them and, and our defensive record now, you know, second joint best defence in, in, in the Premier. Who would have thought that? No, you know, the goals we were shipping last year, I mean, to me, Stuart Pearce and Nolan's got a lot of influence in that. Uh, really. he's, brought, he's brought a good team in there, really. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah. You know, I mean, I, I do include Alan Irvine, but he seems to be uh, just a lot of vice chairman, if you know what I mean. He steps in when Moyes ain't there. But with Pearce and Nolan in there, uh, you know, they both didn't hold back. And uh, no, I think I think the, I think the defensive side of it now uh, is coming good. You know, we've got yeah. a good spine going through the team, really. Yeah, we do. You know, so, yeah. no, it's good. Yeah, what, yeah. what I've likened it to is, you know, when like like modern players, they, they when they move to a club, they always go, oh, I, I was I moved because of the project that the manager said, yeah. the, the project. Yeah. And we've had this bollocks for years. Not, yeah. the 100, not the 150 grand in the contract. No, no, it's, it's the project. No. It's the project. Yeah, of course, yeah. You can see a project being built. Do you know what I mean? It's yep. like you can see the way he's bought, he's got this, the, the backroom staff together, the players he's bringing in, yeah. He's, yeah. he's this sort of formation he's keeping. You know, there's a, there's something building and it's nice. It's not, you know, probably it the is, last... I mean, uh, it, 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 you're totally right. Don't get me wrong. Look, look I'll, be, I'll, 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 I'll never, I'll, I'll always try to, I'll, if, if, I've, if I've said something or made a mistake, I'll hold my hands up to it. And I was one of them yeah. that would, would be, I'll put pictures of Moyes up from his Dunfermline days when he looked like pub yeah, at the back, yeah, back, back of street kids. Yeah. And I'll put on it, uh, Moyes, winning. That's what I'll do. We, and we hadn't won yeah. a game for ages. But, <laughs> but, 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 but that's what you're going to get. I used to I used to have a little dig at Johnny Lyle years back. I've never called it Rezek because I love the fella. But what I'm yeah. saying is that, that you know, if, if social media would have, about, would have been about then, you know, like, art and managers wouldn't have lasted so long. You know, that's, that's the truth. But yeah. at the end of the day, with Moyes, he kept us up. And yeah. then they got rid of him. You know, he kept us up. That's what yeah. his remit was. He kept us up. And as simple as that. Now, he's come back in. They've got this little team. And he's brought in players like Suchek and Kufal. You know I mean? Where, where'd they come from? And I think they're good players. And they're, they're, and, and they're playing and being interviewed with an actual smile on their face. You, you yes. see they want to be there. Not, I mean, I'm not going to talk about Aller how people say don't celebrate because I've watched clips and he doesn't celebrate. Um, they call him the cool man. Like, yeah. Because he just used to walk away. If I scored a goal like that, what he got against Sheffield United, I'd still be running. <laughs> right? 
waving the old shirt around, right? He just turned around and walked. There's nothing to do with he hates the club. It's just the way Stuart Pearce used to turn around, go like that, and walk off. Did that mean he hated the club? It, 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 it's, it's irre- you can get one extreme to the other, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. but no, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I ain't got my head in the clouds, you know. We're, we're, I'm not thinking we're up there, but when I look at it, you know, like 12, 13 points above the bottom three or, or wherever we are, or, you know, that ain't bad art of nine games for us no. at the moment, is it? So, uh, no, no, you, you're quite no. right. Yeah. It's, yeah. And it's nice, it's nice. And I, I, I did a thing today and it, and someone sort of mentioned, oh, I don't look at the table until December. And I totally agree. But it's nice looking at the first page. I mean, if you top them, you look at it before this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. But it's, it's, <laughs> nice, it's nice looking at the first page and we're in the top first page. That's all, that's all I ask at the moment. Excellent. And then we can see. It, it, well, why not give people a lift? I put a, po- a post on there this morning. And it was a full league table and, it, and, and, and I put some stats up there. But purely yeah. what you cherry pick off. People got right into the post. They're quite excited about seeing we've only let five, these amount of goals in. We've got a plus yeah. five. You know, and it gets people talking rather than same old, same old, sitting at the bottom, letting 20 goals. You know, it's nice to, it's, it's refreshing. When we That's play bad, the right word. That's the I'll right put word. some, I'll put, when, we, when we're not that good, I'll put the post back up there. It's, you know, you, you can't, you, you know, it's not everything's rosy in the garden all around all year long. You know I mean? You've got to take it. I mean, we've had, a, we've had an odd start. The old West Ham, you know, although we struggled against Fulham, I thought, really, we should have sort of buried them, really. But, uh, look, we've done the job. 1-0, six points, six points and two clean sheets. What, what Mourinho was interviewed about 10 years back, and he said, well, I'll, I'll 38 games, 1-0 will do me. So, yeah. <laughs> I know it might be boring, but at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, but, uh, no, 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 it is what it is, you know, really. And, uh, no, no, that's it, really. Yeah, no, it's, it is, as you said, it's... it's, it's um it's something to enjoy like you know it's 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 nice to enjoy west ham for a while you know and then obviously the west hamness of us will go and sit and and cherry pick what we want to cherry pick in terms we know of what's coming. coming we know it's coming <laughs> we know it's going to come when's it going to come we don't know exactly yeah yeah if it comes about what end of april then i don't really care I'll take really. That, yeah i'll take yeah burnley at home or whatever like yeah i'll take that one yeah we'll, yeah, we'll get drubbed yeah, five yeah. nil but i don't care we're safe by then Exactly. And the quarterfinals, the FA Cup, that'll do me. Um, yes. So the first question I always ask Neil, he says twenty three minutes into the um, interview, is yep. is why are you a West Ham fan, Neil? What's your story, man? I was I lived in a block of flats about five minutes from the ground on the ninth yeah. floor, and uh, and I could actually see into the uh, what, what was known, what I become known uh, as the cage. Uh, where the where the East Stand Chicken Run top tier met up with the South Bank, I could actually see. Couldn't see the people's face. You couldn't tell if you was there, but I could see in there on a on a night game. The lights were on. The old fashioned biggest. I think we had the what's up, kind of the biggest pylons, uh, floodlight pylons in active vision. You were allowed to smoke in the ground, and the old smoke used to waft up. And uh, and you know, and half my family were at West Ham, uh, and, and some some were were other people. I won't mention their name. They all come from Poplar. And, uh, you know, and I just then uh, got bit by the bug in, in the six weeks holidays when I was eight or nine. We used to go over there and look through the fence at eight. And uh, it was just before, actually, that uh, well, not just before. I think it might have been that season before when we beat Sunderland. The nurse got his six goals over there. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. how long ago that was. But they used to, a lot of them used to train in the car park, the front car park where sure. the main gates were. And then... We used to uh, get the autographs, and it, it was just a, it was it was a fascination with me. I was never a great player; I used to play for the school, but I, you know, I, I didn't. I'm not going to make out I was one of. Them. But then I just, and then what happened was, we used to do something um, over there. Uh, Can I look after your car, please, Mister? When we was about ten or eleven, what would happen is all the fans had come to the. Now I'm talking to 1970. Here. They, they'd come over to the to, to park round in the side streets, and we'd all have a little patch each. And uh, if you've got a plum uh, road, you get a few quid out of it. And they'll come out, come up your car, please, mister. And they'll give you five uh, shilling or, or give you something like that. And then others will pay you when they come out. And yeah. then when they all went, it must have been about, what, five past three. We used to then run over and bunk in because they used to open the doors up at half time over there. So we used to go into the North Bank. Couldn't really see much. But we, but we always, always used to shoot off. Remember, it'd be half past four or whatever. So we could sprint back and stand there. So we looked after their car. And then they give you the money. 
But then as time had uh, sort of go on from the age of, of about uh, 11 or 12, I remember going to the, uh, at school when we was told that under no circumstances are you allowed to leave school to go to the uh, game on a Monday afternoon on a three-day week against Hereford. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. None of us will. Well, after school emptied out, we was all over there. And uh, it's just been a fascination of, of mine with a club. There's no other club no. Uh, for it uh, with me. Uh, you know, it's just... It's just you, you, you know, you're born round there. That was it. Um, you know, you, mm. you, I, I didn't, to be honest with you, at school, I, I don't, now you go, to, you walked into a school now and there'd be 20 people wearing 20 different coloured shirts, you yeah. know, in the local school. But when I was there, well, it, was, it, it didn't look at someone that worked West Ham, it was all West Ham. I remember one Chelsea fella and, uh, but yeah, then I went, then I went there and then I was, uh, we was at a, um, a little youth club uh, the night before Man United came down in 75 and, uh, you know, we, we went over there and just got bit by the bug. And I kept going home and away, right up to, oh dear, it was about 1981, uh, religiously. But then I joined then I joined the fire brigade and, and that put a, sure. a kibosh on it, really. So, yeah. uh, you know, I'd never uh, regret joining the fire brigade. But what I'm saying is it, it was restricted. But um, yeah. they were great days, you know. And, and it's just sort of gone from there, really. You know, I've, I've, you, ne you never lose your... You never lose the the, the the feel for it, but listen, I've seen, I've been I've been luckily enough to uh, you know two cup finals and, and won them. League cup final, we was unlucky, you know, uh, you know, yeah. in, in my opinion, uh, the ref Clive Thomas and uh, no, no, and um, and even the replay, mind you, the replay we got dumped all really, but uh, we had high hopes, but uh, but no, so I've seen that. Um, you know, and, and I've been there and seen it, and I'm hoping, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm hoping others get the chance to see a, um, a cup final win, but 1980, 75, when we was only like 15, and that is, it's not the same. 80 was, we was in a pub at six o'clock in the morning, believe it or sure, not, early. Yeah, yeah. all the old people around near the railway in Stratford, um, they was playing darts, and he opened the doors, those blokes playing darts, all smoke everywhere, people smoke, you, you thought you was out at 10 o'clock at night, and we were buzzing, you know, we'd been out before, and that was the best, best weekend of my life, yeah. you know, it went on Friday, I think it finished about 3 o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, you know, we just kept going, and uh, oh, it was fantastic, you know, they, they're just, they were proper days, and you know, second division team, but now I've seen that, and then 86, of course, uh, you know, yeah. and then, same old West Ham. It's like it's like the old song goes, uh, like our dreams they fade and die. You know, exactly, uh, at, the end of the yeah. day, at the end of the day, we we would have been in Europe under any any other circumstances and yeah. televised games. There was no televised games, yeah. and we couldn't get into Europe because of Heysel. So that was just our luck, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. One of the best seasons we've had, and um, what a team we had there. Mm. And then it went downhill a bit after that, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, but, but no, listen, I've got no regrets. I, 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 I'm, I'm not a glory hunter. Um, never have been. <laughs> oh, well, there ain't no glory to hunt, really, apart from the photo. Yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah. but what I mean is, what I mean is, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. It's not so jealous or envious of people that support teams like Man City, and that. Of course, I like someone to throw billions at us, and, and, and we're up there and that. But mm. it's never made me want to change it, change no. a team, you know. And, and, and that, and that won't happen. But. Uh, but no, no, no. It's just uh, you know, um, you know, um, hopefully. Um, yeah, I had I had, uh, I had bubbles at a few of my birthdays, my fifty, and I had bubbles on my funeral. So at the end of that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, no, 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 that's 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 about it, really. But no, I've met some fantastic people. Yeah, and uh, there's some you know good friends and that. And uh, no, no, even now you walk into a pub now, especially my mates Woody's over to Vic. You walk in there, there's people you've, you've been you know for forty odd years. It's still mm. the same sort of banter, really. So no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, and that's what it's all about, though, isn't it? As you said, we haven't won nothing. You know, we haven't done no glory. It is the social it's side of it for most. Of us. I, I've got to admit, with a new gaff, you know, I don't yeah. really like it. Um, yeah, I've sat over there in games. I, I've sat. I've, I used to sit in in, in a pub um, at ten to three with a drink still on and drink it quick and shoot straight to Upton Park. Never, never would never miss one. I've sat. Mm. I've sat in a pub now with a ticket man like, to get in there. 20 to 3, oh, someone else get around and, oh, and then you think about, it's not so much the walk because you're old, you think, I oh, can't be asked. It's a long and I've walk. seen 20 people remain in the pub. You know, yeah. I mean, that that would never have happened over over, over, um, over sure. at the bowling. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And that's, and that's no reflection of that they, they're not interested in West Ham as the team. Like, it's just it's just the fact that we lost a bit more of it over there. You know, if I can yeah. use the words, people used to, 
used to be like asylum run down dog shit alley and, and whatever you know from the vic right through to uh green street and it, it, it was you know they were, they were great days they were great days you know yeah that's the biggest kick in the teeth for me was was leaving but that's another story i didn't do enough about it and, and nor did a lot of other people because we were just uh, you know sold this uh, i think it was a, I'm not sold a lot it sold i think they just believe i believe their own hype you know and um yeah, I and think it's one, those, it's one of those things where if the team are performing, then, you know, it's the last thing to moan about as well. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's we the, were doing all right in that last year over there. Yeah, you know, that's, it, that's, that's probably a good thing yeah. and a bad thing, wasn't it? It's a good thing. It's, but, it's but good it should have been the protest season. before that. But listen, we didn't yeah. protest, uh, you know, and unfortunately, I still try and keep things as uh, the memory going over there as much as I can, yeah. you know, even, yeah. even going over there. The, to the extent of trying to clear up the mural and whatever, but you're going to get you're going to get that things like that are going to happen. But, uh, yeah. No, I've still got the statue. Yeah. The statue's yeah. still there. Yeah. Uh, but that's that the residents kept that there, not me. Yeah. So uh, no, it's good. That's no, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the thing about about going as you said the the you know the two whether it's two thousand four thousand going back. You know, it's you know I I posed a question on the on the thing I was doing the other day. You know, do some people want to go back when there's only 2,000 people? Because half, part of the reason is you don't necessarily go to watch the football. You go to have a beer with your mates. And if you're two metres away from each other at the moment, you know, it's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how they're going to do it. You know, it's, no, it's, I don't. It's a, it's a difficult one if you've got sort of 55,000 people to... Because, uh, what you know, I don't, I don't know how they're going to do it. I'm glad it ain't me no. doing it. Um, exactly. As long as it's done fairly, it, 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 it shouldn't matter, should it? You know, no, if, they said that, if they said that the next six games were all going to have 4,000, just say, for instance, or seven games or eight games, and that's it, and they balloted or they done it so where you went to a game, the next 4,000 went to a game, and they give most people a chance. Who can argue with that? You know yeah, what I mean? Um, but if true. it's going to go to people like, who, who are up in a corporate and, and whatever all the time or bond out, there shouldn't be any uh, preferential treatment in far no. as We're all in this COVID thing together. There's no class system in this, in my opinion. You know, you, you're either, you're either got, there's either COVID restrictions or there's not. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's it's it's. it's I, I think there's so many questions that people have to ask. Have to ask themselves. Yeah, you know, yeah. how's it done? You know, what if you know? I live in Havering, and so Havering is like you know one of the worst. So that's probably a tier three. Yeah, you know, so yeah, so yeah. what happens if people have they got to come from a tier two to go into it? You know, there's loads of questions. So of course there is. we'll fi- we'll figure them out when they will get figured out eventually, won't it? So um, yeah, as you said, it's one of those things where it's um, yeah. It, I don't know. Some people I interviewed and they said, oh, do you know what? I don't want to go back into at least 75,000, 75% of people, you know, to go right. in because right. Right. you miss that. Because you want to go to, you want to have a beer at the supporters club or you have a beer on the boats. And then oh, yeah, go sure. in, so. yeah, no, 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 I, don't, I, I totally understand. I totally understand. You will get, yeah. you, will, you know, there will be people desperate to get over there. Good yeah, luck. Yeah, fucking to get in, yeah. Good luck yeah. with them. Good luck with yeah. them. That's, that, 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 that's what I, a lot, most of the people, you know, they, they, they pay their bills and, and that's their bit of leisure time where they save up with these season six and they want to go and see their team play. Good luck. Yeah. I hope, they get, hope, hope, they get, hope, they, hope everyone gets picked that, that wants to get picked. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. I know it might be playing a sit on the fence moment, but it's not because people, you don't you don't buy a season ticket because oh, I've done a lot of spending money. I'll tell you what, I buy a West Ham season. You buy a West Ham season ticket because you want to go over and watch West Ham. So yeah. therefore, good luck to them. And uh, okay. I, I, yeah, I hope it's done fair. That's the only way I can say yeah, it. Really. No, I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, we'll see what happens, mate. But anyway, um, let's go on to talk about your Hammers eleven because basically you 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 pretty much gone through <laughs> from the golden period of West Ham in terms <laughs> of so yeah. So anyway, so um, what we do with these Hammers eleven? So basically, you pick an eleven from the players that you've been alive to see play. So obviously, you know, yes. pretty much, yeah. Everyone, no disrespect, Neil, but you've seen pretty no, much. No, yeah, 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 most, most of them. Yeah, you've yeah, got quite yeah. a good spread of players. Um, to be honest, yeah. being a very experienced fan, so it'd be interesting to see that. And you know, and so obviously, you know, adapt. They have to be the best players. They could be your favourite. No, no, no. They're, 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 well, you know, I mean, it's, they're, yeah, they're players. They're players that are. You know, they're still in my mind. Obviously, I could think, oh, sure, yeah, you know, he'd be on the subs bench, and people, people are always going to challenge your, your, your selection. Fair. You know, but but. Oh, what's the old um, match of the day thing with uh, when when there was no football on at the time? Like there was Wrighty, Shearer, and Lineker. They were they were giving their best times. And of course, it's there. It's there for debate. You know, you question why you why have you picked him? Well, I wouldn't have picked. But that's what it is. It's I'm trying to get yeah. that on the page, Russ. On the page, 
Mm. It's about people's opinions because they don't, they're not yeah. the same opinion as yours. I might as well shut the page down if everyone said, um, <laughs> Al is a miserable, um, lazy git and, 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 and 600 posts, everyone said the same thing. I might as well think, well, why am I bothering? But but you'll yeah. get people in there that speak their mind and that's good. And, you yeah, know, it is. That's it how is. it should be. And that's it. And that's the whole thing. I think we've had 230 interview people doing their 11s. And I think we've had about 230 different players because everyone. <laughs> so, you know, it's a generational yeah. thing as well. But also, you know, some yeah, people, so, you know, it's like and, and everyone. And the good thing is it's great because like you get you get your, you know, Oh, you're probably gonna think like Bobby Moore and stuff. You get those you know, already. You get yeah, well, we, I've, I've you seen more play, so obviously, yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. So I pretty much um, guessed he was probably in your eleven. But yeah, you yeah, people like yeah. Jonathan Spector get a shout out. You know what I mean? Because like someone's remembered him from a game, or and that's what's nice. You get all these of players course. and just you know, oh, his yeah, opinions yeah, yeah. in it. Yeah. Right, so let's start in goal then. Neil. Well, Phil Park. Yeah, that's what I said. I was gonna probably just put Phil Parks in for you. Yeah, Phil Park, straight away, old state man's, uh, yeah. you know, we, we've had a couple of good goalkeepers, uh, yeah. but, you know, and, and I like the one we've got now, that's for sure. Me too. Uh, yeah, but Parks, yeah, Parks all day to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and what I, I don't think until, until obviously the, the current goalkeeper, I didn't really realise how influential a goalkeeper is on the team because, you know, obviously when he was out for for that, that period of time and basically Roberto came in and Pellegrini lost his job. Um, there you go. You just see the whole like castle just all fold, and then of it course, yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 you, you're hero to zero in that position, really. Yeah. Roberto, Roberto, there's too much pressure heaped on him. Oh, um, you've got yeah. someone like Fabianski, and I just I don't even bother. You know, a ball comes back, and Fabianski or someone's crossing it, and I know that he's got it covered. That do you know what? I can look away and pick something up because I don't have to worry about Fab. It, yeah. it's, I've got I've got that. I shouldn't, you know, I'm, I'm probably cursing the man now, but what I'm saying <laughs> is. You've got confidence in him. And if yeah, I was playing yeah. in front of him, I'd have confidence in him. You know, yeah. And Parks was the same, really, you know. Totally. But Roberto, yeah, yeah. It's a shame because, you know, it's a man's career at the end of the day. But yeah. obviously, it's not worked out for him there, that's for sure. But, um, no. <laughs> no, but no, when I, when, I, when I do these others, they'll be a bit versatile players, Russ. You know what I mean? Okay, that's what I down like. to the right, left, back and all this sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, they switch around, I've, you know. But, uh, but right, no, cool. more defenders would be... Um, would be, Tonka, would be Tonka, Tonka would be one of them, that's yep. for sure. Um, yeah. you know, I, I, people sort of say, well, he's no comparison, to, uh, you know, to dicks or people like that, but Tonka to me was was solid as you like, you know. Yeah, it's like anything else when we got the penalty up, he'd step and you think, right, one nil straight away, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's just yeah. it's just confidence in him and and, and uh. Thing and yeah, no, no, um, yeah, and I didn't realize that he, he ain't that old actually, Tom. I, 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 yeah, I thought he was, um, I thought he was older than that, but no, he, I don't, I don't think he's that old. Um, no. I see a photo of him last week. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's 60 yet, is he, Tom? Or is he, I don't think so. We'll have, we'll, we'll have a quick Wikipedia while we're chatting, but no, I think, um, I like Tom, he's a lovely bloke, such so, sort, yeah. sort of the earth, yeah. you know what I mean? One of, yeah. one of those, uh, well, sort of another one at the, at the back would be, uh, Frank Lampard Sr. Um, oh, yes. He gets in my book. Um, for one, that he'd done the greatest run round a call up leg that I've ever seen uh, before yeah. when he fell over and, and, and nutted the ball in against Everton. But other than that, I used to drink in his pub. <laughs> no, I <didn't. laughs> no, I, no, I did drink in his pub. Uh, but, uh, but, but no, I, 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 I've seen him celebrating wildly uh, outside his pub the, the day before a game. But that, that was a staple <laughs> diet of players in them days. So, uh, but, yeah. but no. Um, yeah, he didn't get flustered, old Frank. You know, covered yeah. in mud and, and, and kept going. And uh, no, 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 I, I like him. You know, I've got that. Uh, Lampard's great player. Uh, you know, yeah, so. Uh, definitely. Uh, and then, Ray, Ray Stewart, 61. Right. Yeah, I'll see. So, 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 uh, yeah, I mean, Parks, he just turned yeah. 70, didn't he? So. If you, exa- that's, what, that's, what that's what I'm saying. So, you know, you, you, you look at that and people think to me, so, ah, you're picking up your ear. And yeah, fair enough. I mean, I'm 60, but I thought. Well, Ray Stewart, I always look at that. Well, I like players from that era. I thought, oh, he must be about 70 now, but it, yeah. no, he's not. Uh, there's a, there's a, you know, there is a gap in there, but um, but no, no, no. So, no, I'm quite happy with uh, them. You know, I thought about it, and uh, it doesn't say much thinking. Uh, around the, the, there's two people that um, jot me around, uh, uh, around the centre, and that's, of course, uh, Bobby Moore. Yeah, and, of course. And, and, um, and Stretch. Um, yeah. you know, I can't, I can't, I mean, more great player. You know, I mean, uh, um, 
on the ball and everything you know, it's just a great player. Uh, yeah. But Martin to me, and another bloke I'm going to mention in, in about five minutes, but Martin, Martin to me epitomised uh, us as a club, really, you know what I mean? So, sure. Uh, him, him and Moore... I mean, you've got Park, Stuart, and Lampard, and him and Moore sitting in that centre of police there. I mean, I'm, I'm even looking out now, getting excited as if I can get them all together. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and the best is yet to come. Uh, oh, here uh, we go. Go on, Ed. But the best is yet to come. But, no, uh, well, the next bloke, uh, he is, uh, well, I, I, I was I was fortunate uh, where Ozzy and that got me into um, uh, a little room as if I was going to get him in a, in, a, in a stranglehold. And had a glass of wine with a guy, and he signed me shirt was Sabil. Uh, 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 there, there's no player, in my opinion. Uh, we did have a poll. I see a cut of polls, but Bonds to me is West Ham. I, 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 he's he, he's a he's he just epitomised the old socks rolled down, headband, big beard, blood everywhere, and he just got a crunching tackle. Um, I, 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 I've heard a lot about him from a lot of people who. who uh, a couple of my mates actually, Whitten and that, used to play over there with and, and and what they told me on the training ground, he was the first one on it, the last one off. He was one yeah. of the fittest players over there, even, even at a ripe old age. He just oozed West Ham. Yeah. Everyone goes out on a source art the game, not Bonds, went home to his wife. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and yeah. He, he was, he was, he was a, he, he, when, when I met him, I didn't know what, I was looking for him that much. When I said, oh, you got in there, I walked in there and he's in there. And uh, Tony Gale's taking a piss out, out of me, like you know, like, like he does as a comedian. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Bond was there. I didn't know what to say to him. Normally, I, I sit here talking, talk for England. But I'm there. I'm staring at Bonzi. All yeah. right, Bill. What is it? All right, Bill. What's he, what's he going to say? All right, Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I just didn't know what to say to him. But um, no, fantastic. You know, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, he is to me uh, 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 proper. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it'd be the yeah. well, you know. When you get like first eleven, his name goes down first all the time. In yeah. My book, you know? yeah. But anyway, that's enough. Otherwise, I I fall on the floor crying in a minute. But um, <laughs> then 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 three other players in midfield. Yeah. Um, would be uh, well, it's two magicians. Well, it's three magicians really. I, I I mean, if they're bearing gifts from from a father, three kings would be. Um, I start off with the first one is Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, Brooklyn in the playoffs. He tried to sneak out of a um, um, of a lounge, uh, and we beat Blackpool. And he tried to sneak out, and I and I sort of walked off. That's Brooklyn, and he, he he wasn't trying to sneak out because he was ignorant. I think he he went out went out, opened the wrong door to go to the toilet, and I clocked him, and I shouted out Gino. Well, he was chased by about thirty West Anglers across this lounge, all trying to get hold of him, and he was such a gentleman. Uh, yeah, he was such a gentleman, but on the ball. I mean, he could put a ball on a sixpence, that bloke. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, just, he was a fantastic player. And uh, the, people like that and the other two that I'm going to say, they're just worth paying the money. Even even you, you pay your money to get in just to see players like that. Yeah, They were fantastic. You know, re- 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 really good. And, and, a, and an absolute gent. Um, I went to an auction once he had over at Orsett, and uh, it was for kids. It was always like trying to get in at kids' charities. And, and, and I went sure. over there and um, – and, I had my photo taken with a cup and I was searching. Everybody looked at us. I put the old West Ham out on, and he was he was over the moon. So it was there was a lot of Tottenham in there and that. But no, he was, he was good old he was good old good old boy. And um, another bloke who I met last year as well. Put a bit of timber on it. If you don't mind me saying, was Devonshire. And uh, yeah. I mean, cut. I mean, you know, I, I'm just saliva taking thinking of these people. But when you think of the talent we've had at that club, really, at bottom. You oh. put them in a day, in a day. We, we'd be, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the sow alone, you know, if you had a fire sow over there or whatever you say, yeah. it'd, be worth, it'd be worth a fortune to people. You know, Devonshire, just, just I, I, I think it was, where was it? Where was it? We went Re- Wrexham or Santa. We went, so he, he virtually ran the full length of the pitch and, and scored. You know, it was just, it's just, a, it, it, it's just, they're just something else. And, uh, when you have people like that playing in the team, that you look out, you're standing over there, and and, and and you have a look again, no internet. I must sound what an old fart here, but uh, you go over there and, and you felt safer with people playing for you like that because you think sure. we ain't gonna lose here. Do you know what I mean? Because they were they were that good. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and uh, and of course the other bloke, temperamental, but um, I loved him. Anyway. Everyone loves him. Di Canio. Uh, oh you know, yes. I, I, I mean, I mean what. What sort of midfield is that? Bonds, Brooklyn, <laughs> Devonshire, Di Canio. I mean, you, you, you know, the, the, the expression and the freedom that they've got there, you know, and, yeah. and that's, that, that's, where I, that's where I play them. And, you know, they can link up with people. They link up with these front two. 
and it was a uh, fantastic. But Di Canio, yeah, I mean, very temperamental. I remember him sitting on the ball and the uh, when he went off and the ball went off and he sat on the ball, he wouldn't get back up, he didn't want to come back on and he was sitting there sulking. And yeah, that's just him. Picked the ball up, I think it was against yeah. Everton, wasn't it? Picked the ball up because yeah. he, he fouled, so it was an airball as a sportsman's gesture. Yeah. Watch the ref over, you know, it's just everything was about the bloke. It was pure passion with him, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah. he was like a salty Italian, but Christ, he had talent, you know what I mean? And he he loves West Ham, you know, he, he loves. And people were saying, bring him back. I remember crying out to get him back as a manager. No, I, 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 I wouldn't want to remember him that way because if he came over there and, and, and we would have had some of the things like with Pellegrini, I'm not comparing it to Pellegrini, but can you imagine? People love Di Canio. I'll leave it at that. You know what I yeah. mean? Uh, don't, don't come back as a manager. You know, yeah. I mean, Brooklyn had a guy as a manager, didn't he? And he, and he, he tried his best over there. And people, yeah. pe- people knew, people knew, yeah. but, you know, it was a, it was a temporary. But if you call someone back as it their messiah and mm. a great player like that, I don't yeah, want it yeah. set. You know, no. I mean, uh, but, but no. Yeah. And um, and up front, um, I know that people are going to say, well, you know, what about Earth and that? But to me, it's just McAvenny and Cotty. Um, yeah, I, I yeah, just. Yeah. I can't think of a better joint strike force who could who could read each other, their game, uh, you know, and, and they knew exactly. And that's what you need. You you could turn around and say you could have Erst or someone else up there, or Sw- you know, someone said Swindle Erst. I mean, I like Swindle Erst, but someone said you could have people like that. But at the end of the day, you get two strikers, the old-fashioned strikers, and they yeah. know exactly each other where they're going to be, and that that's that. Yeah. That's we got Shearer and Sutton. You know, it's people like that, and that eighty-six. What I spoke about earlier. They were the catalyst for it, you know. Um, with Devonshire and that Weavy's magic and Cotty and McAvenny, either one that went to the ball. I mean, Chelsea 4 0 away was, uh, was yeah. uh, you know, I mean, I, 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 some of them games I can pick out, you know, with Brooklyn in them, like Eintracht, Frankfurt. I, I just, the, the games, the, the, the names stick out to me, but that to me, in my opinion, in my opinion, I, I, I might be wrong, is I can't think of a, I wouldn't be able to. I did think the with Erst, but then I'm not swayed because I don't I don't want anything else to cloud the issue, like Erst and Peters, you know, and things. I don't, I don't want it. I just want it to remember our, our – and I can remember um, Peters and Erst playing. But what I'm saying is – and I'm not just picking out 86. It's just Cotty and Matt were, were, were – I don't know, really. They, they were just uh, – you know, they were better than Cannon and Bolton, but you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> But no, that, uh, yeah, that's that's my that's my eleven, nice. Russ. Really. Um, oh, that's great, and and, and that's the thing. Though, it's your eleven. That's and it's a, it's all opinion, yeah. isn't it, man? So that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I like about this show because everyone has an opinion, and, and everyone can put a, you know, there's no right. I've got to say, there, there was another bloke who would be on the fringes, although he only came over there for a little while. Um, and I would have paid to see him every week. It was Liam Brady? I, sure. I thought Liam, yeah, Liam yeah. Brady was fantastic. Uh, I mean, when I, I was in awe of him, sitting in the, I was up in the chicken run once, just sitting there. I just watched Brady for most of the game. He was just fantastic, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, but no, no, no. So there's been some great players over at our place. Some great. Yeah. I don't care what people say. Our West Ham, that everyone's favourite second team. Well, maybe they are, but we've had some great players over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even if you look at the academy where people have slagged off people like Lampard, Carrick, they've still come through our academy. Whatever way you want to, whatever, whatever, whatever you do about Lampard kissing the badge, it's, you've come out of West Ham Academy, Ferdinand, yeah. Carrick. You know, we've had some people come out of here, Joey Cole. Um, you know, it's, it's the heritage and, and, and the club itself. And if you speak to any of them, I've seen them interview. They, they, listen, they, they still talk about West Ham coming out and playing yes. at the bowling and yeah. the fans, you know. Yeah. And, and that to me is a, uh, it's great in itself, but no, it's been brilliant, Russ. You know, I've, I've, I've sort of. I mean, uh, every player we've interviewed has, uh, to a man, has said it's the fans. That it's all about course, the fans, West Ham. Of course, it is because we're right, like, up, right up against them. Is even, even, away, even, 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 even players that have played there. I will see some yeah. interviews. I go onto YouTube a lot and watch some players, and 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 they mention Upton Park or the bowling. Oh, I hated it over there, but the fans either right laugh at them, you know. They're, they're, yeah. they're, Right in the chicken run, especially in the chicken run side, because over the other side is where the managers were. But on the other side, you were right up against it over there because you were yeah. so far away. No one could hear what you said. And, and, and players have said they'd give it to the West Ham fans and there's been a good banter or, or they've let them, even they've let them know if they're, you know, what they're playing like or whether their father was married to their mother and things <laughs> like <laughs> but, but But no, no. So so everyone, everyone loved the gap and... Um, and the fans, and all West Ham fans, really, they, they just wanted to 
they, I mean, I've seen West Ham years back, and that we, we lost a couple of games, but we lost 4-2 four, and 4-3, four, but they were fantastic. I walked out of there, yeah. got a beer. We didn't sulk for hours. We'd had a good go at a top team, you know, against Liverpool, against Man United. And it, was, it was a great game, what we lost. But, you know, I mean, end of the, I'm not saying we lost, we celebrate. That, you know, that, that didn't even. happen. What I'm saying is, we had a go. Yeah. And... Uh, you can't, I can't draw a line under it now saying, oh, as long as we have a go, I'm happy, because I want us to win things. You know, yeah. of course I want yeah, us to yeah, stand yeah, yeah. To, to, to win something. You know, that's that, that, that's that's what you play football for. A player, you want to see them win. Mm. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I, I, hope it, I hope it happens again. Um, yeah, and, and the youngsters and the youngsters can, can taste some of it. But um, no, I've got no, uh, I ain't got a yeah. regret at all, really. No, 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 it's been fantastic. Yeah, it's been great, mate. I've had, I've had a blast, Neil. Thank you so much, man. No, that's it's a pleasure, care, pleasure coming on. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk Absolute about a pleasure. Of things. Oh, no, God, yeah. God, yeah. No, yeah it's I'm been great because I haven't had to talk at all. It's been great, Neil. Honestly, I've sat here and just listened to you. It's been lovely. No, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you and obviously thank you to everyone who's been watching if it's on youtube like share give it a subscribe if it's on spotify on any of the podcast stuff give it a like give it a share until next time for me and neil take care everyone stay safe wash those hands come on you irons and Thanks we'll see you again very very soon take care everyone much love